perhaps one of the biggest developments of pop music in 2014 was the solidification of Ariana Grande as a pop star and her pop diva status. You really had to guess this was coming back when everyone began comparing her voice to Mariah Carey's. So let's run down Ari's diva antics of the year. Ponytail not included, rumor number one. Ariana demands only the left side of her face be shown. You know what I'm talking about. But I kind of feel bad for the right side, don't you? Even back in 2013 when I interviewed her at a bowling alley, Ari's left side won. You just announced a new single, The Way. Yeah. Do yeah. we have a date yet for when that's coming out? I'm announcing it next week. I would like to point out, as you can see, she was very nice when I chatted with her at that charity event. Moving on to number two, which kind of goes along with number one, Ariana made E! News interviewer Juliana Rancic switch sides with her before an interview at the AMAs so that she got her good side. Juliana recounted the moment in September saying that Ari poked her in the side as if to motion her to the other side of the camera. This is probably true. It's a dumb thing to lie about on G's part, right? Rumor number three, Ariana walked out of a photo shoot in Australia. Allegedly, they wouldn't shoot from her left side. She was concerned about the lighting and she didn't like her top, so she left saying she was coming back and allegedly she never did. I don't think we'll ever know the truth on that one. It's like he said, she said, right? Rumor number four, Ariana made her fan contest winners cry and stormed out of a meet and greet at the VMAs. You remember in August, a dad blogged about his daughter's encounter with Ariana after winning a meet and greet with MTV, saying that Ari spent 15 seconds with each of them and told her security to have them delete their photos of her. Ariana later blamed the emotional encounter on her late grandfather, that one of the fans had given her a photo of her and her grandfather and it triggered an emotional breakdown for her. Okay, that I can kind of believe. But what about this one? Ariana wishes all her fans would bleeping die. Um, um, so, the Daily News reported that after greeting fans and then hopping in an elevator on her way to a radio interview, she said, quote, I hope they all f die. My guess? She did say that, but it was taken out of context. Like, maybe she was talking about a fly on her ponytail that she wished would die. Moving on, Ariana's life coach quit. Page Six reported that he quit because of her diva ways. We're talking about choreographer Isaac Calpito, who took to Twitter to clarify that he resigned. But isn't that the same as he quit? Just saying. Finally, last rumor. Ariana acts like a baby and likes to be carried. Well, who doesn't like to be carried? In Touch Magazine claims she doesn't like her feet to hit the floor and was photographed being carried like a baby backstage at Victoria's Secret Fashion Show and on set of her Love Me Harder video. That's true, probably because she was barefoot and didn't want to step on a nail or something, jeez. But then Star Mag reported that Ari enjoys baby talk when with her friends and it drives Big Sean crazy when they make love. But Sean did come to her rescue, partly saying that she was carried once because her foot was bleeding. He didn't say anything about the baby talk. So what I really wanna know right now from you Arianators is how many of these rumors do you think are true? Leave a comment with your number of truths and then hit me up on Twitter at Misty Kingma also with your opinion. Then click that box for a rundown of all the celebs who dissed Ariana, yikes. Thanks for hanging out with me. Have a happy new year and I'll see you soon in 2015.